my name is Nicole. Welcome back to my channel. Happy almost pie day, you guys. March 14th, if you didn't know, is National Pie Day because Pi 3.14, March 14th, if you haven't heard of Pi Day, you have to have been living under a rock, but it's one of my favorite holidays. I always forget about it. It sneaks up on me every single year, but not this year. I'm a little bit early, and today I'm bringing you one of my all-time favorite pie recipes. It's so easy, and you don't even have to bake. So if you love to bake, but you're not a good baker and you're afraid of baking, this recipe is for you. Keep on watching because you're gonna fool everybody with this pie. You literally don't even have to turn the oven on. Like the title says it's a chocolate peanut butter pie. Comment down below if you're a fan of chocolate peanut butter. It's probably one of my favorite flavor combinations and I just can't wait to teach you how to make this recipe. So give this video a big thumbs up if you're excited, two thumbs up if you love pie because it's pie day. And hey, if you're not already subscribed, please hit that subscribe button and join the best family ever. Let's go. If I'm being honest, I really wanted to make this video because my friend gave me the sweetest little pie dish for Christmas. It says, a little sweet lovin' from my oven. How cute is that? But we don't need this just yet. We're gonna set this over to the side. We're gonna start with a food processor and we're going to crush an entire package of Oreos. The crust for our pie is gonna be an Oreo crust. So we're gonna need an entire package of Oreos. If you don't have a food processor, you can also throw these into a Ziploc bag and then take a rolling pin and just beat them down and crush them up that way. But if you've got a food processor, this is probably the easiest way to do it. I'm just gonna stick all of my Oreos straight into the food processor. Processor. One thing I realized, you guys, I don't have many baking videos on here. We've got smoothie bowl videos galore, and I've started to do some of my Starbucks drinks, but I think the only baking video I have on this channel so far is my chocolate chip cookie recipe, so I'm sorry about that. Comment down below if you want to see more. Ah! <laughs> Comment down below if you want to see more baking videos. My goodness. It is always an adventure here in my kitchen. All right, here we go. Let's check it out. Perfect. Okay, now we're gonna dump our Oreos into our pie pan. You know what? I think this pie dish is gonna be too small for the one we're doing. I really wanted to use this cute one, but I think I need my bigger one. Okay, we're gonna see if this bigger one is the right size, because I think this one's just not gonna be big. Oh yeah, this one's better. Okay, we're gonna use the we're gonna use the bigger dish. Next, we're gonna take eight tablespoons or half a cup of butter, and we're going to melt it in the microwave. Once it's melted, we're just gonna pour it over our Oreos and this is gonna make our crust. I love Oreo crusts. Just gonna kinda mix it all together with a spoon here. Oh, this smells heavenly. Once everything's all mixed together, we're just gonna press it down into the pie pan. Make sure to get it up on all the sides. This is gonna be so yummy. Make sure you really press it into the pan so that it sticks together. We wanna make it as compact as possible. All right, give it a couple good pats in the center. This is looking really good. Okay, now we're gonna send this to the freezer for about 10 minutes while we make the rest of our pie. <gasps> oh no! Dang it, it doesn't fit in my freezer. Well, I'll go this way. What a trip. Okay. Okay, next we're gonna do our peanut butter filling. For this, we're gonna need one stick or half a cup of butter, and you want this to be softened at room temperature. I'm gonna put this in a big mixing bowl. I'm using this KitchenAid mixer, but if you wanna do a hand mixer or mix it by hand, you can also do that as well. Then we're gonna need one and a half cups of peanut butter. There is nothing like creamy peanut butter, let me tell ya. You know, this is probably gonna end up being this entire jar and I'm gonna have it dirtied up this measuring spoon for nothing. Turns out a half a cup is one of these small jars of peanut butter. So we're just gonna put all of this in here. Are you a crunchy or a creamy peanut butter fan? Let me know in the comments below. I think I'm a creamy. I'm a creamy fan, but I like both. I'm not picky when it comes to my peanut butter, if you know what I mean. And then our last ingredient is gonna be one cup of powdered sugar. And now we mix all that together. Oh my 
gosh, you guys, I wish you could smell this right now. It smells so good. We've got this nice whipped fluffy peanut butter. Oh, it looks amazing. Now the last step in our chocolate peanut butter pie is the chocolate ganache on the top. This is my personal favorite and it's super easy. We're just gonna do one cup of chocolate chips. I always use the Ghirardelli dark just because I love the flavor, but you can use any kind of chocolate chips. Okay, and then I just heated half a cup of heavy cream over the stove until it boils and we're just gonna pour it right on top of these chocolate chips and let it sit for about five minutes. You don't wanna stir it just yet. Just let them sit and this hot heavy cream is gonna melt the chocolate chips. In the meantime, we're gonna pull our pie crust out and start layering. Now you wanna be really careful with this part, especially if your pie crust is not super frozen because it will lift up. So we're just gonna take our peanut butter filling and start filling our pie crust. Oh, buddy. This is probably one of the most beautiful pies I've ever made. It's so aesthetic. All right, once you get your filling in, we're just gonna very gently spread it around, trying to be really careful not to pull back the Oreo crust. I'm just gonna kind of spin this pan while I move the spatula closer and closer towards the outsides. Oh, it didn't even have the swirl. I don't know if y'all can see that, look. <laughs> Oh, I am easily entertained. Okay, that didn't take as long as I thought it would, so we're just gonna wait a few more minutes for these chocolate chips to melt. Okay, once five minutes is up, go ahead and whisk the chocolate chips and the hot cream together, and this is gonna form our chocolate ganache. It should be nice and silky and smooth. All right, now this is my favorite part. We're gonna pour this chocolate ganache right on top of the peanut butter and spread it all around. Are you ready? Just like, we need to do this in slow-mo or something. Oh my gosh. Yes, it's so silky and so smooth. And then all we have to do is gently smooth it around the peanut butter. Don't press too hard though, or else the peanut butter will come out from the bottom. You guys, I'm telling you, if you don't know how to bake, this is your dessert. We didn't even touch the oven. Takes less than 20 minutes total. Honestly, probably one of the best pies ever. Let's see if we can get that little swirl in the middle. Yeah, buddy. And we're done. Literally, the pie is finished. All you have to do now is put this in the refrigerator. It will set up a little bit, and I do recommend keeping it in the fridge for 30 minutes to an hour, even more, because that will help when you cut it for the pieces to come out nice and perfect. I hope that you loved this video. This was so fun, and I really, I need, I need to do more baking videos on this channel because, this was great. Comment down below if you wanna see more baking videos on this channel, and if so, what are some of your favorite desserts that you wanna see me bake? This chocolate peanut butter pie recipe is on my blog. I posted it probably six years ago, and so I'm gonna put the link in the description box below if you want to find it and make it for yourself. But whether or not you make this, I hope you treat yourself to a piece of pie for pie day. Remember, it's March. 14th, it's coming up and I'm so excited. I got my pie. If you like this video and it made you smile, give it a big thumbs up. And again, don't forget to hit that subscribe button to join the best family ever. We'll see you next week. Bye.